Imagine having a secret weapon that taps into the deepest places of the human mind, unlocking hidden desires and influencing purchasing decisions. Welcome to the realm of psychological trigger, the catalyst that ignite conversions on your Shopify store. I'm going to reveal powerful techniques like anchoring, the bandwagon effect, and I'm going to provide you with real life examples that will empower you to harness the mind's potential and drive unprecedented conversion rates on your store. Starting on number four, the bandwagon effect, aka social proof. Imagine strolling down a busy street torn between two coffee shops, you know, one with a line of customers patiently waiting um, while the other appears to be empty, crickets. Instinctively, you're drawn to the bustling cafe, curious about what everyone else finds so appealing. This is the essence of social proof, a psychological trigger that taps into the innate desire to conform to the actions of others. On Shopify, you can leverage social proof by showcasing customer testimonials, ratings, reviews, highlighting real live examples of satisfied customers and their positive experiences can create a bandwagon effect, compelling potential buyers to follow suit and make a purchase. Obviously, user generated content, reviews, ratings, all this stuff is going to be super, super powerful to include not just on your product page, but also on your collection page, also on your home page, also on your about page, everywhere on your website where you can tell the story, right? Have a compelling way to show customers that other people are funneling in and liking the products that you offer. Coming up next is the fear of missing out, FOMO, AKA scarcity. We've all experienced that little bit of regret, right? When we miss out on a limited time offer or exclusive deal. I know I have. Scarcity taps into our fear of missing out and drives us to make immediate action. By creating a sense of urgency and scarcity on your Shopify store, you can stimulate conversions. So for instance, if you could display a say countdown timer for a limited time sale or an offer uh, with limited quantities of sought after product, additionally incorporating phrases such as limited stock, while supplies last, that can ignite a sense of urgency, compelling customers to make a purchase decision quickly. Now, I gotta tell you about this because if I don't, then I'll regret it later, right? Um, if you want to easily add these two psychological triggers that we've talked about, scarcity and social proof, just within one app, my recommendation is definitely Vitals. With Vitals, you can easily implement reviews, UGC, and the countdown timers and stock scar scarcity counters. Super powerful, super convenient, and I encourage you to just try it out for yourself. In the link below, you can get an extended 45 day trial for Vitals. I'd also like to say a brand that I follow that does a good job with the limited quantities is Dark Sport, D-A-R-C Sport. Um, and they're more of an athletic brand, you know, for people who go to the gym and work out and whatnot, but they only make, I believe it's only like a hundred of each item. And a lot of times they release collections, right? And they sell out pretty quickly. And it's, it's that power of scarcity that it just, it works, man. And I've, I'm, a, I'm a purchase, I've purchased from them before and I've been on the, on the emails and trying to get it at the right time, right? So I can get the items that I want. So coming up next is the power of expert opinion, AKA authority. When it comes to making purchasing decisions, we often seek guidance from experts or individuals we perceive as knowledgeable in their respective fields. So this psychological trigger known as authority can be a powerful tool in boosting conversions on Shopify. Consider incorporating endorsements from industry experts, influencers, or reputable publications on your product pages and your homepage anywhere on your website, really. For instance, featuring quotes from industry leaders who have used or recommended your products can instill confidence in potential buyers, making them more likely to convert. Even if you go a route of maybe smaller type influencers, that's still going to have a very, very powerful effect of authority on customers who are visiting your website. The next psychological trigger is give and receive, AKA reciprocity. We give you knowledge, you subscribe to our channel and like our video. Reciprocity is a psychological trigger rooted in the concept of giving and receiving. When someone does something nice for us, we feel a natural inclination to return the favor, AKA you like in this video. By providing value and incentives to your customers, you can actually tap into this trigger and increase conversions. 
So offering freebies, exclusive discounts, or helpful resources in exchange for customer engagement, such as signing up for a newsletter, sharing your store on social media. It can cultivate a sense of reciprocity this in turn can foster a deeper connection with your customers and motivate them to make purchases. By the way, you should check out You Should. It's gonna be somewhere on the screen here, but it's a newer app that does a little bit of what I'm talking about here with reciprocity on social media. So it rewards some of your customers for sharing and talking about your brand. So think about influencers, but micro micro influencers. Pretty cool. Ironically, the last psychological trigger is Perception is everything, AKA anchoring. The way information is presented can significantly influence our decision-making process. So anchoring is a psychological trigger that relies on the concept that our judgment is heavily influenced by the first piece of information we encounter. That's why a lot of times doing the YouTube intro for these videos is super important, right? Um, because what we say in the intro actually matters and sticks with you throughout the video. So on our Shopify stores though, you can utilize anchoring by showcasing higher priced products as a reference point. So I would never ever recommend you showcasing on sale items on your homepage, for example. You want to start with the higher or normal price products, then down the road, maybe in a different collection, have your discounted or lower priced alternative product. By establishing that higher initial price point, customers perceive the discounted option as a valuable opportunity leading to increased conversion. Now these psychological triggers are just the tip of the iceberg. If you're interested in optimizing your website for conversion, then you need to watch this video next because it will break it down a little bit better for you on the stage of business that you might be in right now. Check it out.